Hello, and welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson will focus on mystery words. Materials. The only material you'll need for today's lesson is your thinking cap. We have three learning targets today. The first learning target says, I can follow along in a shared text. The second learning target says, I can search in a text and find words with three letters. The third learning target says, I can use clues from the text to identify mystery words. Read aloud. We have a new poem. It's called, Today. See if you can follow along as I read. I don't know what to do today. Should I stay or should I play? If I stay, I have to mop. And if I play, I get to hop. I could go for a walk or ask my mom to help me cook. Too many choices. I don't know what I ought to do. Maybe I should just ask you. How many words do you see in the first line of our poem? There are seven words. What is the first word in this line? The first word is I. What is the last word of the first line in this poem? Yes, the last word in this line is today. Transition song. Let's solve the mystery Let's solve the mystery, clue by clue, clue by clue. The clues will tell you what to do to make the word become clear to you. We'll know the word, we'll figure it out, clue by clue, clue by clue. Word work. Remember, high frequency words are words that authors use often. Our poem today has two of these words, but we don't know which ones they are. Let's use clues to figure out the mystery words together. The first clue is that our mystery word has two letters in it. Follow along as I read our poem. I don't know what to do today. Should I stay or should I play? If I stay, I have to mop. And if I play, I get to hop. I could go for a walk or ask my mom to help me cook. Too many choices. I don't know what I ought to do. Maybe I should just ask you. Do you see any words in our poem that have two letters in it? I see that the word two has two letters in it. I also see that the words do, or, if, go, my, and me also have two letters. I wonder which of these is our mystery word. How about another clue? The mystery word also has the letter R in it. Do you see any two letter words that also have the letter R? Okay. I see the word or 
has two letters and one of them is the letter R. Hmm. Let's check our clues. Does or have two letters? Yes. Does it have the letter R? Yes. Or is our first mystery word. Nicely done. Let's find our second mystery word. Our second mystery word has three letters in it. Do you see any words in our poem that have three letters? All right, I see mop and get hop for ax mom and two. That's a lot of words. I think we need another clue. Our second clue is that our mystery word rhymes with the word or. Do you see any words that have three letters and rhymes with the word or? Okay, I see the word for. It has three letters and it rhymes with the word or. For or. Let's check our clues. Hmm. Does four have three letters? Yes. Does four rhyme with or? Yes. Four is our second mystery word. Keep it up. We've solved our mystery. As I read our poem one last time, pay close attention to our high frequency words, or and for. I don't know what to do today. Should I stay or should I play? If I stay, I have to mop. And if I play, I get to hop. I could go for a walk or ask my mom to help me cook. Too many choices. I don't know what I ought to do. Maybe I should just ask you. Closing reflection. How can we practice our mystery words? How will that help us with our reading and writing? We can look for them in our poem and in other texts. Count how many times you see the words for and for today. See you next time. Bye.